Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about basic definitions. So first definition is race condition. So what is race condition? Now if we want to define race condition, then it is a situation where two or more processes are accessing the same data or same resource concurrently and if the outcome or the output of the execution depends on the particular order in which the access takes place is known as race condition. Let's take example. Suppose we are having two process, process A and process B. Here the process A is adding the value 10 into x. Process B is subtracting value 20 from value of x. So here both of these process, process A and process B is accessing the same data that is x. Or we can say here both the process A and process B are accessing the same data that is value of x. Now suppose initially the value of x equals to 50. Now here we will execute both of these processes one by one or in particular order. Now step number one this process A reads the value of x. So initially process A will read the value of A initial value that is 50. Then after step number 2, after reading the value of x by process A, immediately process B will read the value of x. So still the value of x equals to 50. So again process B also reads the value of x that is 50. Now after reading both the process, again the process A executes second instruction. So here it will execute x equals to x plus 10. So the value of x becomes 60 because here process A reads the value that is 50, this 50 plus 10 that is 60. Now after executing this instruction, again next comes process B. Process B subtract the value of x that is subtract 20 from value of x so here process b has read the value of x is 50 so 50 minus 20 that is 30 but the value 30 that is wrong because if we consider initial value of x equals to 50 and after executing both these process process a and process b 50 plus 10 that is 60 minus 20 that is 40 so here the value of x should be 40 but we got 30 why because of this race condition because here the order of process a and process b matters we haven't follow proper order of the execution of this process this condition is known or this situation is known as race condition next move further some other definitions we can also say is that race condition is a situation where two or more processes are reading or writing some shared data and the final result depends on who run precisely when we can say race condition is always takes place when multiple process or multiple thread operates on shared data or on shared resource next move further inter-process communication that is IPC. So first of all what is the definition of inter-process communication? It is simply a communication between two or more processes that is IPC or inter-process communication. Here the word itself says inter-process means between two or more process and communication means a communication. Now here the question comes in our mind that why inter-process communication is required in operating system. Let's take example why it is required. Here consider a client server architecture. We have already seen in our first chapter client server model or client server operating system. Here this in client server architecture this one is a client machine this one is the server machine. The client machine will send a request to server, server will process that request and reply to the client. 
or we can say the client machine is a machine that request for some service from server and server is a machine that provide different type of services to the client the same scenario is there in our computer in our computer each and every process are either a client process or a server process so the client process are the processes which requests to server process for the different type of services whereas the server process are the process which provides different type of services to the client process so whenever this client will request to the server process for different type of services again that server process will execute it and provide that service to client process in this case this both the process client process and server process can communicate with each other to accept or to receive the service from the server process so here inter process communication comes in picture let's take another example why inter process communication is required and when it is required suppose we are having three process process p1 process p2 and process p3 and two resource processor and printer now at particular time suppose these process p1 is using processor means processor is allocated to process p1 and printer is allocated to process p2 means process p2 is using this printer now after some time this process p1 requires printer so what this process p1 will do this process p1 will send request to printer but this printer is not available because process p2 is already using this printer so this printer is not able to allocate to this process so in this case what this process will do this process will not make it idle means if this process p1 will not get this printer then this process is not able to execute further so in this case this processor will become idle but this process will not make it idle so what this process will do this process p1 will send message to process p3 and ask it that please you take this processor from me means i am giving you processor you just use this processor to execute so here these both of these process will communicate with each other this is known as inter process communication means both this process p1 and p3 will communicate with each other and after communicating with each other this process p1 will release this processor and this processor is allocated to process p3 means process p3 will start to use this processor so here this processor will will not be in idle mode so in such cases sometime two process can communicate with each other to synchronize their work thank you very much